First of all, uh, thank all of you all for coming. Uh, and secondly, let me, let me tell you that, uh, uh, you know, I've been bragging on this legislature for, I guess, a better part of 15 months. Uh, and I, I know I, the press has heard me say this over and over. I'll, I'll hearken back to uh, what I said, I think, on, on Monday about, uh, you know, how they tackled and addressed two major issues in the last session that a lot of legislatures and a lot of administrations have been wrestling with for a long, long time. First of all, uh, they complied not merely with the letter of the law, but with the spirit of the law, and not merely with an adequate education, but striving for uh, an excellent education by getting us uh, the kind of school finance program that got us out of court, got approval from the Supreme Court, and really did do what should have been done and what uh, a lot of people had given lip service to for a long time, and that's making education the number one priority of state government. Education is now and will be tomorrow the number one priority of state government. R roughly 70 cents out of every general revenue tax dollar goes to some form of education, as it should. And so uh, the members of the House and the members of the Senate uh, worked long and hard uh, to uh, get us where we are in that regard. And it is a never-ending battle. It will be a constant uh, number one issue going forward, and we'll deal with those issues uh, every day that we're uh, collectively, I guess, in office together. The second thing they did was they reduced by 50 percent. Uh, the sales tax on groceries, it is the most regressive tax that we have. It hurts the poorest people uh, the most. And for years, uh, people have been talking about doing something about it, and nobody ever did anything about it. And this General Assembly did it. Now, there's a, there's a long way to go. We've got to continue to attack it and continue to reduce it until we ultimately eliminate it. And as I said back in the campaign, and as I said last year, and as I say again, we will do that, and we will do it responsibly, and we will do it by first ensuring that education is taken care of. And once those essential obligations of state government, chief of which is education, are addressed, our first priority in tax cuts and our next priority after education will be to continue to attack uh, the grocery tax. And now they've done a third thing. They've raised a severance tax on natural gas that some people have been talking about for 50 some odd years. Uh, you know, I was here in 1983 uh, in the special session, in November of 83, when Governor Clinton tried to raise it, and uh, it didn't get very far. Uh, I voted for it in 1983, uh, but uh, for years people have talked about the fact that we had one of the lowest, if not the lowest, uh, natural gas severance taxes in the nation. And so, again, they have addressed that. And they've addressed it in a way, the one area that we had not addressed uh, when we were in the regular session, the one area we didn't really have a specific additional program to address was highways. And highways are such an essential part of, uh, of economic development. Obviously, it's important for safety and for travel and for people to be able to get back and forth to work, but it's also essential for economic development. And uh, so they have uh, now tackled that problem. So I can't say enough about the members of the General Assembly. They are, uh, they don't get a lot of credit most of the time. Uh, a lot of times they get a lot of uh, arrows fired at them, uh, but uh, I'm very proud of them. Uh, I'm very proud of all the work that they did. So with that in mind, let's sign a bill. Yes, sir. Robbie's right back here, Governor. Robbie. Thank you, Governor. No. 